Well, today we are going to uh, run some wiring over to our switches and then wire up our pump. Then we will uh, make sure the tank is nice and clean, fill it with fresh water, and uh, see whether or not I need an umbrella when I turn the water on. And hopefully I don't have to take a shower. So, I have uh, my ground wire, which I'm going to run first. I'm going to run it to the uh, ground wire on the switch. Then I will take uh, the hot wire and also run it to the switch and turn off my power uh, and uh, make sure everything's connected. Then we will run a ground wire to the pump and then from the pump hot wire we'll run a hot wire up to the switch and um, well with any luck everything works out fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start running wire. Uh, no big secret to that just push wire through holes and uh, get it to where I need it to be, add connectors, hook everything up, and uh, move forward. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll give you a couple of shots uh, as I progress, and uh, stay tuned. So here's what we have so far. So this is the uh, power from the uh, charge controller going into our distribution block. And I shut the power off, connected my ground, to the switch and connected my hot wire to the switch. Then I went ahead and connect the power, made sure the car charge controller was on for the load. My wiring is run and uh, right now I've just got the wires kind of hanging there. Terminals are connected and so because these are illuminated. They should light up when we turn them on. Boom! Look at that. Okay. So we have power going to our switches. Awesome. Now we need to run a ground wire to our pump and then we can run our hot wire up to our switch and we should, uh, by all rights, be ready to go. So, here's my mess so far. You know, something for a little job sure does uh, make a big mess. Okay, more to come. Okay, so I started buttoning things back up. All my control stuff, electronics, is all covered back up. Uh, things are somewhat back in their place. Now I have... Uh, so a little bit of cleanup to do because I got a lot of wire shavings and ends and stuff like that uh, take care of and uh, our pump is wired in so we have a wire coming down for the hot tied in here and then our ground so we'll make sure and wire tie everything up so nothing's in the way and Next is we'll clean out the tank and make sure that there's no debris in it from where I drilled the uh, vent fitting. And then we'll fill it up and give it a test run. Oh boy, that's going to be exciting. Okay, we are ready to test our pump. <coughs> so we're going to do it in little steps here. I have the hose connected to the uh, fresh water tank. First thing I'm going to do is fill that up make sure that the overflow overflows and uh, then I'll come in and make sure that there's no leaks um, around that tank then we'll make sure uh, we've got all of our fittings and everything on the sink tight and we'll hit that pump and see if we've got water okay so we are uh, gonna turn the water on And with any luck, it spews out the side here once it's full. So it shouldn't be long now. Um, doesn't take very long to throw 10 gallons of water in that. There it is. All right, let's turn our water off. Okay, I don't think I had my lid on tight enough, so we have a little bit of leakage around there, but that's easy fix. I'll just uh, 
take it off and put it back on and we're good to go. So everything else looks like it's holding well. Now the big test. Okay, the moment of truth has arrived. We're ready to hit the switch on the pump, get water up to the faucet, look for leaks underneath. So let's uh, let's do it. Here it goes. steady stream. looks good all right awesome I'll give you a shot of that so with the exception of the lid a little bit of water leaking out here which I'll check the o-ring maybe I got some dirt or something around the lid I'll uh, make sure that that's sealed tight I don't see any leaks around the pump and that's working good so I think uh, I think I'm gonna level the trailer out and then I'm gonna run that till it's till the tank is dry and then we will uh, drain the the holding tank and see how well it hold uh, oh you know what I'm saying we'll see how well it works okay so I closed up the bench put the cushions on there that might uh, quiet it down a little bit and uh, now we're ready to run the pump got a lot of water pressure too. Nice and slow like. Liking that. Oh, sucking her dry. Very good. Good deal. Well, we're going to call that a huge success. Uh, never ceases to amaze me, though. The places that I thought would have a leak never have a leak. And the places that I wouldn't expect it to leak, it seems that's where the leaks are. But the lid is not a problem. I'll just keep an eye on that, make sure that it's nice and tight, O-rings sealed real good. And uh, so I'm happy. So. None of the fittings leak. Hose to the faucet is secure. Um, all my fittings to the pump are secure. No water anywhere. And I'll uh, keep an eye on that over time just to uh, make sure that we don't have any leaks. So cool. 
we have water and uh, tanks <laughs> nearly set nearly set and it takes a while to uh, actually drain that with as much pressure which is with as much pressure that uh, this pump puts out I thought that I thought the tank would drain a lot faster but uh, it lasts for quite a while so 10 gallons is gonna suit me well on the road and every once in a while I can fill up or bring some more jugs of water but um, I think that's going to work out for the small trips and camper that we've got here so now my next task is uh, I've done all my cleanup nothing left in here to do so uh, except wipe down the sink maybe I'll disconnect my hose I'll go ahead and hook it onto my drain and let that uh, flow out and we'll call it good awesome thanks for uh, watching and uh, hope you got something out of out of this and like I've said before uh, I've never made one of these I'm just winging it so uh, I see what other people do and figure eh, I can do that and uh, you can do the same thing so you watch other videos you watch my videos and pretty soon you're like yeah, I can do that, and you're well on your way. So, you get an idea, do it. Don't wait. Remember, you'll talk yourself out of it if you wait. So, get started on your projects. You'll be glad that you did, and uh, be some satisfaction when you're done. So, if you haven't already, like the channel, subscribe, and uh, a few more to come. And before you know it, we're going to hit the road take some uh, some travels and some adventures and lots to do and lots to see so we're, uh, with, with any luck maybe I'll see one of you out there alright thank you for uh, staying around stay tuned